Okay, so this is for Charles so that he can watch the video. Because <laughs> he didn't make it today. Okay, so let me play it for you. Okay, so this one's really fun to try to see how fast you can get. Um, so, but here we go. It's really easy. So, um, if you have your book, page eight, it's going to give you the pattern. Okay. One, one, two, three, one, two, four, four. Okay. And then, um, on page nine, it's going to give us an order of how we're going to do that. But, okay. So here we go. <clears throat> um, so if you put the pattern on your hand and it's going to be for both hands, both hands play the same thing, kind of like with um, Chester Chills Out. But we're going to start with the uh, top hand, the right hand, because the right hand is what is on the pattern. Okay, so it's going to go one, one, two, three. I guess. One, two, four, four. Okay? So you can do that on your one finger, or we could chop off your one finger and say that two fingers one, and we could do the same pattern on two finger. One, one, two, three, one, two, four, four. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. Okay, so we're gonna be using those two different starting fingers. So your positioning of your hand, two finger will be on C instead of one finger on C. So this is called B position because your thumb's on B. Okay, so the way that you're gonna do it, you'll follow this order. Um, and you'll follow the right hand order because it's um, we're just going to do the right hand You're going to start with your two finger. He starts being one finger. So we'll go One one two three one two four four Like that. Okay, now we go to the one finger being one, and we do the same thing. Yep, now we go back to two finger being one. And then we're going to do this ending thing. We're going to start from the bottom of our fingers and go all the way to the top of our fingers. So we're going to go all the way up. Then we're going to come back down. But when we come back down, we're going to skip our two finger. Yep. So it's going to go. So we won't repeat the pinky. Yep. And then we're going to play two, four, two. Sorry. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Let's just try that ending part. Awesome. Okay, let's see if we can start from the beginning. We're just going to still do just the right hand and see if we can play the whole thing now. Okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I want to see if you can put both hands. The bottom hand is just going to copy what the top hand does. Okay, so let's see if we can play both hands. Just copy the, what the top hand does with, for the bottom hand.
So you're going to play all of that one time through. Then you're going to repeat the song, but the first half of the song um, is going to be, your top hand is going to go up to a different, different position. And your bottom hand is going to stay where it's at. Okay, but it's only going to do it for two patterns. So it's going to go, the position that the top hand is going to go to is the D position. Okay, so just up two notes. And <coughs> uh, <laughs> the fingering is all the same. So um, the bottom hand can still mimic the top hand. So, and you're going to do this for two patterns. So it's going to go one. That's one pattern. This is the, the second pattern. Then it's going to go back down to the original position and finish it off. Okay, so it will go up to the, that position for two and one. And then it will come back for the two again. That part. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. So let me get this straight though. So I play the entire song and then I repeat it, but for the first part, I go up to D. Yes, with just this hand, just your top hand. Yeah, just my right hand. Uh -huh. And then the position, is it on like high? As in just above middle C? Um, it's going to be, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that will be your positioning. So you'll go up two notes. Okay. And then, and then right here. Yep. Yeah, and then you go back down to that one. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. And then my left hand is middle C. Your left hand stays where he's at, so your left hand will always be in the B position. So they're in octave apart, basically. Uh, yeah. For most of the time. Yeah, they're like right next to each other. So it is on middle C. Yeah, so, um, so you're, you're, let's see. If you want to know the exact opposite, let me look. Uh, the exact octave, let me look, because I can't remember. I play it up here, but I don't know if it's actually supposed to be up there. <clears throat> Okay, so if you want to know the exact octave, it's, it's lower. So your bottom hand's on bass C, and your top hand is on middle C for the first half. And then your bottom hand just stays right where he's at, and this top hand just moves up two notes. Okay, so let's see if you can try it. Just try it from the second half. So you've already played the whole song all the way through, and now you can do the second. Well, not the entire song. Yeah, well, the whole, yeah. First half. Uh huh. So, second half, second. And then... Yep. Okay. You did that. Which is and the two can one. There you go, yeah, that's it. And then you're gonna do your one, one, two, four, four. Yeah. Yeah, it feels funky, especially the last part when you skip the two finger and the four finger. <clears throat> um, but okay, let's try it again. We have three more minutes. So let's start from the very beginning now and play the whole thing.
I've got to watch this stuff. Okay, that's fine. So that's fluff pie and the challenge with this one is to see how fast you can get because you can get pretty quick and it's really fun so let's go ahead and add that one to our playlist so we don't forget to practice it Okay, and then um, you, you sent me your rhythm and I got it. And Charles also sent me his rhythm. So I'm gonna wait till next week so that you can play Charles's rhythm and he can play yours. Um, so, but it looks pretty good thus far from what I saw. So thank you for sending those to me. Um, and we'll probably do another transcribing rhythm next week. So, okay, do we have any questions before we end today? Melt I wrote on the playlist. <laughs> no, I don't know. Did I? <laughs> Maybe I didn't look at it well enough. Let's see. Um, mine doesn't have a little note. What I gave you uh it's the very end. It has the hearts at the top. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that's so sweet. I didn't see that. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> no, I didn't see that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I love you too. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So good luck this week with your practice. Well done this last week. You give yourself a pat on the back and a high five. And we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.